Ethan hates to milk Tilly and Luna, so unfortunately that's what we're gonna have him do today. Super happy about it. Why? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like she she like slides and then feels like she's gonna pulls it back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep the pill I, not to the side as much, but just forward, you my know. My arms are too long, I can't even do anything. The smallest goat and the biggest goat are the hardest to milk. Yeah. Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 love. Oh my garbage. We have our cover here so it stops rain from getting in. But what do you guys do? How do you poop in these? Like they're toilets. How do you do that? Stick your butt right up next to these feeders and poop in my feeders. We have made these little feeders so nice for them to have their kelp and their baking soda. And we put a cover so that the rain wouldn't get it. And then they, they poop right in these little holes. How does that happen? You can do it, Fern. All right, good job. Girl, after all these months, I was gonna say years, but she's not even that old yet. <laughs> See? Oh, we, and she can use it to yeah, eat the leaves? If we put the teeter-totter here, then they can reach the leaves. All right thing about these branches is that they don't break very easily so the goats will just sit here like tugging at them for yeah. so long. Okay, only a few more minutes, okay? They're almost done being milked. You done, Luna? At least Luna never kicks. Yeah, she never kicks so that stand going on her. When we first got goats, I got the tiniest teat goat in the history of the world. And I remember like crying the first time I tried to milk it because it was basically impossible. So I ended up getting my old breast pump out from when I had kids and I used it to milk that teeny tiny teat goat and it totally worked. But eventually I had to learn how to milk myself. So I had to get in there, get my hands tired and learn how to milk. What is going on? That is how poop gets in your food. Jeez Louise, get out of the food. <laughs> Come on guys, the mamas are ready. Your mamas are ready. Come on. There you go. Oh, there goes Doris. Let Penny in and Willow. Really fast, both of them. Oh, mother and dad. Run, run, run! No, wrong oh, way. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Willow's finally learned where to go. Doris is usually always the first one in. And now she's just like so confused and sad. She's like, what? She's like, why am I not first? All right, mama gave you a little bit of milk, finally. I think we should do the pig food in the shade now because it's getting so hot. Okay, so right after they eat, they can go take a bath in the mud. Oh, there you go. Good. Okay, don't wear it all on your head. Who is he switching? What are you doing? Like, maybe this tastes better over here. No, it tastes the same. Still like old food. All right, this way we can multitask and we can water the pigs while they eat. Water the pigs so they grow. All right, you've watered um, Fred way too much because he's so much bigger than George. That's true, he must have. Okay, let's not water him anymore, he's too big. Okay, let me water their mud pit. Let's see if the chickens like to be watered. No, I don't think they do. Oh, Kiwi is a champ sitting on these eggs. 
We have to make sure and give her food and water because she will not get up no matter what. There you go. It's all around you. You've got your water. You've got your shade. Believe it or not, we're allowed to keep roosters and turkeys and peacocks even. But I don't think we're gonna keep any of these peacocks because we don't wanna bug our neighbors. Uh, that's kind of the reason why we don't have roosters. We had roosters for a few years and our neighbors never complained to us, but we just knew that it wasn't very fun for them to listen to at like three in the morning. So we got rid of the roosters and they didn't mind emu, his gobble wasn't too bad, but peacocks are especially loud, so don't think we'll be keeping them. We'll just raise them for a while and then there's actually a really great market for them here and so we can actually turn a pretty good profit. So hopefully if she hatches them out, we can take them, raise them, and then sell them. Well, Kevin, there's one fly on this, but it's on the outside. <laughs> one fly. Why is this not working? I don't get it. It has a nasty bait in it. Everyone says they work so well. I know. Wait, is it on the, oh no, it's on the outside. Flippin'. So I bought these new fly traps because I fell into an Instagram ad because it promised the elimination of flies. It's called the ranch fly trap. And I've actually had friends that say it works, but we've not caught one fly. And we put bait in there. I put vinegar in there. They say to put beer in there. So maybe I'll try that next. Well, he's bigger than her. Have they started to eat dry food completely now or are they still eating the canned food? Um, I, I mix the canned food with like crushed up dry food, mm -hmm. but no, not yet. They're, they don't, I left a bull out here and I don't know what happened to it. Well, Ooh. I guess they must have eaten it. I don't know. We've been trying to get the kitties to eat actual cat food, like dry food, and so it's more difficult than we thought. Cats are very picky. The vet said to just keep trying and mixing it with canned food and hopefully get them closer to eating dry food. Since they're gonna be cats that will roam free, we'll only be able to put like dry food out. We won't be able to put canned food out. So we've gotta learn how to eat that dry stuff. Ethan, do you love the kitties? <laughs> you guys, it is time for the chicken coop project. We've had this coop for the last 10 years and it is falling apart. We can barely open the doors. Getting the eggs is a nightmare. So here's the plan. We're gonna build the ultimate walk-in chicken coop. We're gonna start with cedar posts. Gotta get them all straight there. And then we're gonna put some heavy gauge wire on the outsides so the goats can't bend it. Then we're gonna stick a shiplap wall on the back, paint it navy, and then we're gonna put some pretty nest boxes because it has to be pretty. Next, we're gonna get an old branch and turn it into a roosting tree. Throw in some plants, throw in a really cool feeder, and then stick a huge shade tree over the whole thing so that this will be the most beautiful coop and coolest coop in the world. After cleaning off the roof of the coop, It was time to move it, and it actually wasn't that hard thanks to Kevin's engineering skills. We can't do a project without all the animals around us, and they are so excited to be in the chicken coop poop. They're helping us. Look, they're gonna lift up this thing with their backs. Yeah, we should like tie a harness to them. They can pull it off for us. Is this just like you guys living your best life right now, Luna? Yeah? All right. Luna, I'm surprised. Luna. <laughs> I'm surprised at how easy that was to move. Except, did you guys realize that we still had a chicken in there the whole time? <laughs> She's like, whoa, are you okay? Sorry about that. When it was time to move the runs, however, we had a bunch of unwanted help from the animals. 
you know, it makes it just a little bit more difficult when we have like 10 animals inside trying to move at the same time. It's like Robin on it, Okay, go. I don't know where we're going. Pig, stop peeing! I think they just want to live in there. It's just so fun. Should we scoot it back a little bit? In a couple of weeks, this is going to look completely different. Last week, I got a brand new apple tree. It's a cocktail apple tree, so it has three different varieties of apples on it. And I just got it at the right time because it has a few last little apples this year. So it's the perfect snack while we're swimming. Ready? Here, catch, Liddy. With my braces? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh. I forgot you guys had braces on. Okay, me and Dad will eat them. <laughs> there you go. I can taste it still. I just like squeeze it a little bit. Just take little tiny bites. All right, I'll take a big bite. When apples are big, I can break them in half. Best. You like them? Good. Yeah. All right, Kevin found our first snake, but it wasn't in the pond, it was just on the outside of the pond, so I'm not scared it's gonna swim. Yeah. You th are you wanting to let it swim? He wants to swim. No, I think he wants to get away from you. <laughs> don't put it in. Okay. Yeah. You don't wanna try him? He's gonna jump off here. You wanna try? Oh, there he goes. Okay, let it try for a little bit, but he's gonna go fast. He's gonna swim so fast. You okay, guys okay, everyone be ready. Yeah, he's... Whoa, he is fast. I feel like he's gonna go down and then we're gonna lose yeah. him. So I don't want that to happen. Okay, let him go in the garden. He can eat bugs. It's oh, a yeah. garden snake, and so he eats our aphids and junk. Yeah. 